Right, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen, and we are not quite done with Bubble Gloop Swamp yet. We still have a couple of bits and bobbles to do there, involving... God damn it! Involving God damn it? Yeah. Well, that's, that's new. <laughs> that's certainly new to me, Jim Bob. <laughs> but basically, uh, there's a little <laughs> hidden alcove hidden behind the level that we need to get to. Which oh, I'm I remember this. To, uh, I'm going to use this to get to the hidden alcove. Now, I could have gone to the hidden area as the, the crocodile, which is why I was saying I made a goof earlier on, because there's actually an extra hidden alcove inside this hidden alcove that only the crocodile can go through, where um, there's an ice block in the way. So we need to use Big Banjo and Kazooie to break the ice block to then go back, get the crocodile, and then it's fucking lunacy. <laughs> this sounds it. It's just roundabouts, but it's not too big a deal. So if you go up here, you see this? Is the little cabin? Oh, yeah. Banjo Kazooie can't fit in here, but we need Banjo Kazooie to break it in order to access the contents that are hidden inside. Bit of a roundabout thing. Yeah. The last recording session, I did this perfectly because I got the power up and then left the level and then did this thing, went back in the level, so it was a lot more efficient. This time, I, I just made an entire goof of it. It's an easy goof to make, admittedly, so, you know. Ah, it's the Winter Wonderland. Yeah, it's my favorite level of the game. Freeze, easy. It's the best time of the year. It's the eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Something challenge rivals. It's like three months to Christmas, by the way. Uh, yay. Maybe one month. Oh, two months to Christmas by the time this one video month? comes out. I was about to say, oh, right. it's not going to be that long for this video to come out. <laughs> Wait, this video's out next week? Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Isn't it? No, we've got Brothers coming out next week. No, wait, actually, we, oh. got, we do have Banjo 1 to 4 coming out next week, so... There we go. Then we have all the Brothers playthrough, then this is part, so... And then it's the Spooktober Spectacular. Which might only be one game at the rate we're going, but <laughs> we'll see. No, touch. Not, a, not, a, not a chance. We're going to be on that like a cat on a hot tin roof. Although why a cat would be on a hot tin roof is beyond me, because that would hurt. Well, I say the Spooktober will only be one game, but that's also because I'm also doing Spider-Man, and I don't think that really fits into the theme, really, still. Spiders, cobwebs. And I, I just, I know, but that's not really, it's like, when you think <laughs> Halloween, you don't think Spider-Man, do you? Well, unless you go out to a costume party, I guess. Yeah, I don't, that's a fair point, but... To be fair, he's in costume as well, so there we uh, go. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Spider-Man is part of Spooktober. If anyone doesn't know what Spooktober is, it's our month... Monthly? It's not fucking monthly, Jesus It's Christ. monthly. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm on no, board with no, that. No, 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 no. It's a yearly <laughs> I'm, thing. I'm, right, I'm writing it up now. A monthly... <laughs> no. Don't. Oh. It's, a, it's a yearly thing that we do where, um... Basically, we cover horror games mostly for the month. Or at least and I try and convince uh, you to play something horror. Which never will happen, because I hate the genre. But the viewers will love it. So viewers, if you want to see Jim Bob play something horror, make sure you note it down in the comments. Don't bother, because I won't listen to you. <laughs> he will. No, I won't. Uh, he will That's... for subs. I, I won't. <laughs> Damn it. Not to say there won't be horror games I won't be playing, but I'm very selective, so... Yeah, can't wait for that. Yes. Unfortunately, oh. the rambling has covered all the time we have to get here, so I can just skip back to where we were. So I'm go I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, uh, c'est la vie. C'est la vie, indeed. Mon chéri, mon capitaine. Oh, oh, salmon fish roll. Ah, unagi. Oh. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Uh, Hello, welcome on. to this special edition of um, we're not, Friday we're not. the 13th. What? Hello. Oh. Friday the 13th? <laughs> what? Mix it up a bit. I don't know. Um. Hello? We're not on the horror level yet. Uh. Yet? Give yet. It, dot dot it, dot. Give it time, it'll be there soon. Soon enough. Alright. We gotta go for Frosty's, um... Well, Frosty could be a horror level. Frosty? Well, you mean the snowman level? Yeah. Why? It's not scary in the slightest apart from the snowman to go ha 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 and throw shit at it. Like Someone could have a snowman phobia. Yeah. Can you imagine having a snowman phobia? It'd be kind of screwed. We never go out during Christmas time. 
Anyway, this here is Cheeto the spell book, and he gives us cheats, which aren't really cheats, they're more glorified power-ups. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's really annoying, because the, the game clearly wants you to use these things as um, power-ups, right? No. But it calls them cheats, so it makes me, makes me, you know, when I first played this game, I didn't want to use them because it, it felt wrong, because it felt like cheating. As, I, as, as years got on, I, got, I realized, hang on, it's just a glorified power-up system, and the actual cheats are inputted okay. a special way. Because this game has two types of cheats. It has these cheats, which are just power-ups you need to find, which, oh, are, I see. therefore, they're not really cheats. They're just power-ups that call themselves cheats. Part of the game, man. Yeah, they're part of the game. And then there's actual cheats, which um, exist. The bad ones. The bad kind. I don't actually know any of those cheats off my offhand because they're usually really long combinations of words. But uh, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. No, no, no. The words. Now we have to type all the oh. words in. For example, oh yeah, the cheat, of course. Yeah. So the cheat we just got is blue eggs. So uh, it basically doubles up the amount of blue eggs that we can carry and shoot. So instead of 100, we can now hold 200 little fuckers. So uh, I'm gonna go all the way back to Treasure Trove Cove in order to effectively enter that code. So we shall see you guys in a minute. You piss right off! There we go. Good see job. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. Welcome back, folks. <laughs> uh, so, if you recall, we went into that sand castle earlier on in the playthrough to basically get a hold of a jiggy. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we access our uh, beautiful, beautiful cheats. So, uh, what say you we pay Leaky the Bucket visit and uh, get back in, shall we? Oh my, how lewd. Oh my, how lewd. <laughs> I really wish I could do... I don't know how the fuck the voice actress does that noise, because it's impressive. All things considered. Wait, why is there a can, a can castle? Why is there a sand castle still floating underwater? What? Well, it's a sand castle that's underwater. How is it still there? There you wash up. Uh, Answer me that. Our wizard did it. Did he? Yes. Okay. That's how it works. So anyway, typing in blue eggs in here. Bada bing, bada boom. We now have 200 e Oh, Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh! Oh! That lousy cheat for extra eggs. Want health bear and chicken legs. I said that really weirdly, didn't I? You say everything weirdly. Oh, f fuck you too. <laughs> right, anyway, um, so if, you, if you're wondering how other cheats are activated that aren't the game given ones, you actually have to type in cheat beforehand in this cove. I'm not doing it, but it's just so you know. Try it by falling, man. Why? I don't know, it just yeah, sounds like something that could work. That's not a cheat code, that's just a name of a pirate. <laughs> it could be a cheat code, it's not my rare. I'm. Yeah, you got points. Ah, see? I mean, see, thinking. During development, Banjo started off as an RPG, so. About an I RPG. could be about, right then. Yeah, it started off as an RPG about pirates. Wow, the game changed. <laughs> Just a tad. I, it's kind of weird though, because it, it, the way that they, I've, I, cause they, I think there's decent documentation about the process of it, because it started off as a game called Project Dream. Uh, which was a Super Nintendo RPG that Rare was making. All right. And as time goes on, they just started modifying the thing. Like, eventually, at, at first, it used to be a, a normal person as a character. Then they changed him to a uh, anthropomorphic animal like Banjo. Then they gave him a sword. Then they took away the sword. And as time goes on, the game slowly and slowly morphed into Banjo Kazooie. It's kind of kind of interesting. There's not too much information about the RPG other than it's something I think Rareware has always been wanting to do. And I, I'm still convinced that's, like, Sea of Thieves, I'm half convinced that's pro that's just the new version of Project Dream that just came out. I'm convinced. So. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, we have a new level by here. Ooh, look at this. There's a, uh, there's, an, there's a level over there. Oh. We haven't got one there yet, though. But we are going to break uh. this open. Vandal. Well, it's the witch's lair. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Let's be fair. 
But if you recall, we blew up the witch's hat earlier. We did. This gives us access to the witch's hat that we blew up. So we can get finally get the jiggy oh. that has been teased to us. Actually, I say it's been teased to us. I haven't even pointed out the jiggy in this session. I was only pointed out in the first recording session we did. For fuck's sake, damn it with our reruns. I don't like it. Anyway, there's a jiggy in here that we now we got. Oh. Uh, I, I remember that. I would have pointed it out earlier, but I just remember. I, I forgot that we didn't already point it out because of this re 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 recording this. Oh. Gotta love it. Uh, we're, 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 we're still working up the kinks of this recording stuff. We are. I mean, I've only been making YouTube videos for over 10 years. But 20 years? Like, yeah. Oh. Well, not 20. I don't know, actually. I don't know what year I started making these videos. I don't know what year it is. Oh, God. <laughs> I know what year it is, John. It is, it is 2021. Mm. But... <laughs> no, it's not 1983. I'm sending these videos to the future. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. So anyway, well, at least we first them. Yeah, that's true. All right, so let's activate this teleportation point, and I believe this is actually what. Yeah, this leads us to a lower point in the castle. So I'm only going to show this once off for the playthrough because I'll, I'll be doing this off screen every other time. But you jump in here, and you can jump teleport to the earlier cauldron that we found. Ah, uh, science. Ah, salmon fish. There's a token there. You missed the skull. Ah. Oh, I'm going. I'm going back. I'm getting that fucking thing. Yeah, you lie then. The cauldron's probably wondering, like, what the fuck are these guys doing? Stop jumping in me, you pricks! In, oh. out, shake it all about. Grab a token and get right out. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh. Yes. Excellent. I think we'll load them. He just explodes, like, sorry, this is no longer in service. Uh, so the level we're going to is actually through that ice cave over there, but uh, I'm going up here right. real quickly first. Because there is another piece of cobweb in that I can shit on, and I want to shit on it. Because that's what you should do to cobwebs, because spiders are scum, and they are the horriblest people in the world. Apart from moths. Second horriblest people in the world. So there we go. Alley up. You're not going in the cauldron? That one doesn't send us anywhere yet. We uh. need to find the one that's a pair to that cauldron. Oh, right, like color coded. Yeah, they're color coded. So the first one's purple, that one's a light blue. I think there's a yellow one somewhere. Right, but anyway, moving on into here, it's time to enter. Oh, free free CP peak. Peak. Later. We're not going in there just yet. Later? Right. Yeah, I, I want to go up here quickly. Oh, okay. Because I believe... What a condescending piece of shoe wear! Ha! <laughs> you can't wear. use me! Ha 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 I'm a funny fucker! Right, um... Oh, there we go, this is one. Oh, well, you try, I'll give you that. Yeah. Right, just... Oh, for God's sake, I jumped over. <laughs> Come on! There we are. Beautiful. I meant to do that. 